बटर है मेकिंग Hi everyone welcome back to another video last weekend was a long weekend for everyone here in Oman it was Oman Sultan's succession day so it was declared that thursday will be a holiday thought to share few glimpses of that long weekend on how we spent on wednesday night we booked our stay at Saj Farm Inn which is located in Ibra here in Oman it's almost 2 hours drive from where we stay We called up to check the facilities and other and it included barbecue area. So I quickly marinated chicken for grilling. For the ingredients I used ginger, garlic, green chilies, coriander leaves, mint leaves, dill leaves, 1 cup curd, 1/2 cup fresh cream, salt, 1 teaspoon crushed black pepper, 1 and 1/2 teaspoon cumin powder, 3 tablespoons olive oil. Here I've used 2 kg chicken that's cut in large size. Poke each piece with a fork few times. mix well I stored it in the curd bucket and kept that in the fridge till I packed it in the bag I had kept aside few of the marinade to add the chicken sausages gave slits and mixed well In fact you don't need marinade for sausages it's equally tasty without Pack the same way and kept in the fridge Hummus is really simple to make and delicious to have along with barbecued chicken. I have shown this recipe multiple times. This time though it was again not very much planned like the camping we did last time. Staycations are something we have done earlier and we know how it will be. Before leaving had to clean the kitchen completely as we will be coming only next day. I even put the laundry and set the time for tomorrow. The weather was a bit cloudy, not sure of the rain. So, took the clothing stand inside. Packing for a trip or a staycation is really exciting and relaxing and I'm saying this is needed for everyone in the house not just for mothers who spend a lot of time in the kitchen it's also for working men women kids who gets exhausted from a hectic week from school so everyone needs a break It was not just us even our cousin and family are with us she is Hadi my husband's cousin and Jawad her husband with their tiny tots You might have seen them in my previous vlogs. And there we are at the farm inn. I had already shared two reels on this on my Instagram. We booked two bedroom suite. Very spacious rooms they have. They also have a mini football area where you can enjoy some sports with your family and kids. They have the barbecue area behind the villa. There is one bedroom as well. As we are two families, we booked two bedroom. Let me take you to the pool area. It's a water theme park. This is available from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. They also have a private pool, which I'll show you the next day of this vlog. While the men were preparing for the barbecue, me and Hadi took a walk and had a relaxing time in their spacious outdoor area. 
There is a restaurant here that was closed for two years almost, but it was opening a day later, so we were really unlucky to not have it during our stay. Preparing tea this way tastes much better than the other way, so we never forget to make tea on a barbecue night. Even coffee tastes equally good. Morning was really refreshing. All were just waking up. I got fresh and got out to breathe in some fresh air and take a walk around. This location is really beautiful, calm and relaxing, though the beauty of the landscapes was seen only in the morning. Guess this is an orange farm, maybe not the season, hardly few oranges on a tree. And there we are at the water park. This is a shallow pool that gets us safe here. Now the good part of this resort is that even if you are not staying here, you can come, pay and use the rides. You can use this water park, private pool, hang out for some time and leave. So there is option for that. And here is the private pool. We spent some time, was really tired and left back home evening time. Next day was tiring and lazy. But as we had restaurant food the whole day yesterday, I cooked breakfast to avoid eating outside. My pantry and fridge was almost empty and I took out whatever I had. Into some heated oil, sauteed ginger garlic till raw smell leaves. Then cook onion till it's soft. Add chopped tomatoes. Had a cup of cooked chickpeas in the fridge. Then goes Kashmiri red chilli powder, turmeric powder and garam masala powder. Had macaronis in packets, very little in each. So added whatever I had. This was good enough for four of us. Added hot water and salt. Mix well and cook on medium flame till the macaroni is done. Chop in some coriander leaves. You don't have to wait till all the water is evaporated. Let it be wet or liquidy and it tastes good that way. I had this pretty jar of Nutella. Use this to store in the matchsticks I have. I cut the striking surface and stuck it on the bottle. As it was in a curved manner, it wasn't easy to flame it while striking. So I stuck another one on top of the lid which did the job well. On Saturday night, we had asked Hadi and Jawad to come home for dinner, so the preparation is next that you will be watching. It was a simple dinner treat. For pudding, I prepared bread pudding, almost like a French toast flavoured pudding. 
as it's winter now i thought to serve it hot cut bread slices each into four squares arrange it in a pudding tray now you will have to make a mixture to soak the bread for that into a bowl break in six eggs To this goes 1 tin condensed milk and 1 teaspoon vanilla essence. Whisk it. Add 1 teaspoon cinnamon powder and milk. Here I use a condensed milk tin to measure the milk. Mix everything well and pour this mixture completely over the bread. If you want you can double the quantity of the mixture and pour till the bread is completely immersed. The pudding turns out to be really soft and melting in your mouth. I wanted to have that bits of bread while having it. Gently press. Keep this in the refrigerator and then later take out, bake before serving. I prepared minced meat spaghetti while the spaghetti is cooking parallelly I prepared the minced meat or the keema masala into some vegetable oil fry few curry leaves saute 2 teaspoon crushed garlic and 1 teaspoon crushed ginger once the raw smell goes add 2 medium onion chopped let it turn soft The onion is soft, add minced meat. Here I've used beef, you can go for mutton as well. Keep on low flame and cook. The keema has been cooking for around 5 minutes. Add 2 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, Half to 3 4 teaspoon garam masala powder, half teaspoon crushed black pepper. Mix well. Add some salt. Let the raw smell of the spices go. Add in 2 medium tomato that's chopped. Chop a handful of coriander leaves and add. Mix well. Keep on low flame and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Time to add the cooked spaghetti. I don't prefer to cook pasta or spaghetti just like how I did the breakfast dish. Taste will be amazing but it might not look very appealing. Dish might be a bit sticky which might not be very impressive for your guest. This is done. They have two kids, one who doesn't prefer spicy food much. So keeping him in mind, I prepared a simple chicken pulao or mandi maybe you can say. Heated some olive oil in a pot. Fry whole spices, cardamom cloves, cinnamon and whole black peppercorns. Then add one large onion that's sliced. Blend two tomatoes and keep aside. 
Once the onion is soft, add 1 teaspoon crushed ginger and 2 dried lemon. To this goes 1 teaspoon cumin powder. Mix for few seconds. Now add boneless chicken pieces around 1 kilo. Mix till the color changes to peel. Now add the blended tomato and mix for a minute. Time to add 3 cups chicken stock. Use the same cup used for measuring the rice. Then add 2 cups hot water. Add salt and mix. That's a handful of chopped coriander leaves. Keep on high flame. When it boils, add 3 cups washed and drained basmati rice. Mix and keep on high flame. When it starts to boil, add a slice of butter which is optional. This has been boiling for few seconds. Now turn the flame to low and let it simmer. Give a mix to the rice halfway. Just to add a little bit of heat, I slid 4 green chilies and immersed it. Another dish that I prepared is chicken filled puff pastry. So for the filling, heat some ghee. Saute 2 teaspoon crushed garlic and 1 teaspoon crushed ginger. Saute till it gets fried or the roast milk goes. To this saute 2 medium onion that's chopped. Let it get soft and translucent. I made this filling a bit spicy to taste good. Add a 3 teaspoon red chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder. Mix well for a minute. Then goes half a capsicum that's chopped into tiny pieces. Now add half to 3 fourth kilo chicken that's cut into very small pieces. The chicken is almost cooked. Adding a handful of chopped coriander leaves. Mix well and let the stock completely evaporate. Just 2 hours before they arrived, I baked the puff pastry. If you get bigger pastry sheets, use that. I could get only the square ones. So I used 6 squares at a time. Gently press over the connection so that it doesn't open while baking. Making slanting slits on both sides, leaving room in the center. Add the filling and then braid. Bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for almost 15 minutes or until it turns to a nice golden brown color. While it's still hot, spread some melted butter on top. I transfer the rice in a casserole so that it stays hot. To give the rice a smoky flavor, burn a charcoal piece, place an aluminum foil in the center, place the burnt charcoal in it, pour oil over it and cover immediately. Do not let the smoke go out. I should have baked this pudding while we were having dinner as the pudding was warm rather than hot. Bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. The oven should be preheated. Yeah. 
I fried some onion, cashews and raisins in oil and these are for garnishing the rice. And there they are. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and let me know your feedback. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.